Over on my podcast, Canadian History X, I've looked at a lot of amazing Canadians, but I wanted to find out who's the greatest Canadian. So, over the course of dozens and dozens of polls, for many different months, I was asking my Twitter followers, who's the greatest Canadian? I made a list of 256, and now we're counting them down. And we're on number 238, Pitsiolakashuna. Born on Nottingham Island in the Canadian Arctic, Pitsiolakashuna grew up living the traditional life of the Inuit. After her husband died at the age of 40, Ashuna was left to raise four of their children herself. The loss of her husband would lead Ashuna to art, which she used to ease the loneliness she felt. She described her art as what made her happiest since her husband died. Her artwork allowed Ashuna to support her family, and while the pain of the loss led to her art, she expressed positive memories and experiences through it. Her art often contained images of traditional Inuit life and contributed to the establishment of the modern Inuit art form. Ashuna was one of the first artists to make drawings for the print studio at Cape Dorset in the 1960s. Self-taught in her artistry, she was one of the first Inuit artists to create autobiographical work. In the last two decades of her life, she created over 7,000 images, some of which depicted Inuit life pre-contact. Her art has been featured in the National Gallery of Canada, the Canadian Museum of Civilization, the Art Gallery of Canada, the Smithsonian, and the Vancouver Art Gallery. She received the Order of Canada in 1977 and was elected to the Royal Canadian Academy of Art in 1974. She passed away in 1983, and a stamp was issued in her honour in 1993. She is also a finalist to be depicted on the Canadian $5 bill. So that was Pizio Lakashuna. Who will be number 237? Find out next time.